You guys are awesome, man. We just have one uh, final comic for you. Uh, you guys will love this guy. He's from Zimbabwe, right? Yeah. Please give it up for Carl Ube. How are you doing, everyone? My name is Carl Joshua Ube, and I'm the biggest Zimbabwean stand up comedian in the world. Thank you. Thank you. I'm really excited to be in America for the first time. Um, yeah, legally, and uh, it's been awesome. Uh, it's been awesome. New York is part of the world tour that I'm on to 37 cities around the world. That's, you know, we're supposed to be going to 37 cities around the world. And uh, 36 of those cities are in Zimbabwe. And uh, I'm really excited because I've been seeing lots of similarities between like our, our two countries. I mean, like, you have no electricity, which is... Uh, uh, But there's other stuff that, I, that I've seen, like, you just will not see in, in my country, like, white people. And uh, it, it, it's great to see white people and black people sitting in the same room, because I have hope that we can now finally start getting along, you know? It's, uh, it's just that I've noticed that, like, white people want to eat all the things that black people want to... Uh, like, white people, like, save all the things that black people want to eat, and uh, that makes me feel a bit concerned about that. And I, and I know people always talk about, like, Africa having dictators. And, and, and this is not true. I mean, take Zimbabwe, for, for instance. I, I mean, seriously, please take Zimbabwe. I, mean, um, I, got, I got married uh, a few weeks ago. I got married uh, a few weeks ago, and I, I was immediately separated from my, from my wife uh, so I could go back on this uh, comedy tour, uh, which was awesome. <laughs> First stop, I went to a strip club. <laughs> Uh, which is cool, you know what it's like when you get to a strip club, you know the lights and the music and it's like doof, doof, and, and you know they come out and it's like Whoa, and then they're like Whoa, and then they're like Whoa, and then it's like Whoa, and then they're like Whoa, and then and then you put the money in, in your mouth and you open up the practice and everyone's like Carl, 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 Carl Man, and that was just the guy at the door <laughs> I mean, like, I, I have lots of, like, bad expectations now on my wife because of white people, the stuff that you, you guys have come up with. And uh, on my honeymoon, I expected my wife to come out in a two-piece bikini, you know, to the beach, because that's how white people do. You guys wear these two-piece bikinis, but, you know, not my wife. I mean, she came in a Royal Caribbean, like, t-shirt with, like, a hole on the side, and a pair of tights and, like, flip-flops and a shower cap, right? And she walks across to the woods and I'm thinking, okay, cool, maybe she's going to do the whole, like, Olympic thing and, like, dive into the woods, like what white people do in the Olympics, you guys do that so well. No. <laughs> and then she surfaces two seconds later and you're thinking, okay, maybe she's going to come out of the woods like Pamela Anderson in Baywatch, running on the beach in slow motion. Thank you for slow motion, by the way, white people, that's great. <laughs> And I'm thinking that's what she's going to do, but she comes out of the water and is like... <laughs> Baby, did you see me screaming? I mean, I mean, even when we went back to the hotel, though, when we went back to the hotel, you know, like, I, I, heard, her, I heard her in the shower, you know, and she was singing, my mind raced forward to those, you know those Redox commercials with, like, white people in there, and you've got the white chick, and she extends her leg 90 degrees up in the air, and lathers up that one leg, and white people know how to watch that one leg so well in commercials. You guys are so good at that. You never watch this leg, you just watch that, that one leg, right? And I walk into the bathroom, and there she is. Baby, pass me this song, man. I've been to, to Orlando, spent some time in Orlando, uh, and, and I noticed that, like, you know, the people in Orlando are quite fat. <laughs> and, and you guys, you guys are quite skinny. Are they eating all your food? <laughs> I mean, but you guys look in great shape, you know, you look so fit, so awesome, so gay, and you guys have been such an excellent audience. Thank you so much for this call.